rules will apply regardless of the flight's purpose, whether it's for work, for research, or for fun. There are two main categories in the new regulations, rules for basic operations and rules for advanced operations. The main criteria that determine whether advanced or basic rules apply are if a drone flies near bystanders or in controlled aeros airspace, such as near an airport or aerodrome. We are working with airports and with security organizations to address the issue. There are people who will, because they just don't know how to operate properly, will wander through an airfield. Uh, that is people who have not, and, and not done their homework and are careless. There are that kind of people. But that's quite different from somebody who deliberately puts their uh, drone in the middle of, uh, of the, uh, just above a runway in a very busy airport with the object of, uh, of just creating uh, the kind of situation that occurred at Gatwick. And those are two very different circumstances. We're working with the RCMP and we will be approaching other police services across the country so that they understand uh, that uh, there are new rules with, uh, in fact, fines and possibly imprisonment depending on what laws are broken. This is very serious business. If you put an object in the air, in, this, in the airspace of this country, you are in fact piloting it and if you cause an accident uh, that can have enormous repercussions, uh, then uh, you have to realize that there will be, uh, that there will be uh, a price to pay for that. <laughs>